As usual, as we dig deeper, we have an incense of worship with your minister and a dear friend, Aham from Kisan, from Prayer Paris Christian Center, being pastored by Dr. Bishop Rivers, Mrs. Salongo. Hallelujah. You are welcome to our moment of worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, 
the praises of the Lord be upon you and be behind you and besides you and be feed you and be feed you and we feed you we feed you in the morning in the evening in the morning and your going may be the weeping of the weeping that you're passing through we prophesy may the favor of the Lord be upon you a thousand years that you are beyond with your family, with your family and the children, all the children you have. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever you soak yourself in deeper in the presence of the Lord, you feel like, oh my goodness, no one even to stop. But we believe God that we shall take it deeper next time, maybe more minutes or hours or full day in the presence of the Lord. But right now i'd like to share a word briefly um uh, just like we always do it um and the, the scripture i'm gonna share today it is the common scripture uh, to most of us is in john chapter chapter 4 john chapter 4 and it's verse 24 john chapter 4 verse 24 i know i know i know i know i know uh, you're, you're also like 
I wish it could continue with the worship and we continue deeper and deeper. But let me tell you this. Um, uh, I promise you next time we shall go deeper. God willing, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when you read John chapter 4, verse 24, the Bible says that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And even close up your Bibles. That is self-explanatory. God is spirit. And those that worship him, worship him in spirit and also in truth. That means um, you will never worship God unless you are in spirit. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, when we read Romans chapter 8, the Bible says, um, uh, to be carnally minded is an enmity to God. But to be spiritually minded is based on life eternal. Hallelujah. That means we, the children of God, we need to have a, a, a spiritual mind. That's what I could say. We need to operate in the spirit. That means reasoning in the spirit. Uh, doing things in the spirit. Doing very well. That the God we serve is a spirit. Uh, our common mind, our flesh. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. Uh, our flesh will never do anything in the presence of God. That means you need to soak yourself deeper in the spirit in order to worship the great I am. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Um just like we always do it we welcome someone and our moment of worship if you don't know jesus christ as the lord and your personal savior it is high time for you to accept him as your lord and your personal savior because the bible said when we read john chapter 1 and verse 12 that they that accepted him he gave it the right to become the children of the most high god so it is high time for you to accept him as your lord and your personal savior as so at out these words say father from today i open up my heart accepting jesus christ as my lord and my personal savior from today i repent of all my sins i write my names from the book of the dead and write them in the book of the living let me pray for you and i did keep the gentleman from today in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god from today that she may overcome all the days of her life in the name of jesus christ having accepted you as her lord and her personal savior i pray for healing if you are sick in the name of Jesus Christ, we meet again next time on our moment of worship as usual.